Hi, I'm Nick, the Cyber Safety Tech Mum. So today this video is going to walk you through how to use the new YouTube parent supervised accounts. The first thing you'll need to do if you don't have a Gmail account is to create one. And you can do that by going to myaccount.google.com slash sign up. So I already have an account, a Gmail account. Um, so I have signed into that account. And the next step is to um, create an account for your child and to link your account to their account. So I've actually gone in and you can see that um, I am in uh, my account here. Welcome, Nicole Embra. And I'm going to duck into people and sharing just down the side. And once I've done that, you'll see that I also have an account for one of my children. It's already set up and I have linked her as a supervised member. If you have created uh, Gmail accounts for your other children or they already have one, then you can simply click on send invitations and it will allow you to invite those uh, Gmail addresses uh, to be linked to your Gmail address as the family manager. So once you've done all of that, you pop into YouTube and I've already signed in. You should be able to see it here. Uh, you can see that I've signed in because my little picture is up in the corner there. And what I'm going to do now is click on my little picture and I'm going to go down to settings. And then as I scroll down on the settings page, you'll be able to see parent settings and manage settings for your kids. So I'm going to click there and I'm going to select the child that I am setting this up for. Any child that you've already linked their account to will appear in that list. So um, the next thing you'll need to do is scroll down a little bit and you'll see this is what we're talking about today is YouTube settings, content settings. So we click on edit and we have three options there. The first one is explore and that's going to show ratings that are for um, children nine and up. Um, they won't have access to live stream or premieres. Uh, explore more is content for kids 13 and up. They will be able to see live streams and premieres. And number three there is most of YouTube. So that's almost all content on YouTube um, except for anything that has been flagged as adult or sexually explicit. So you can go in and you can select the appropriate setting there for your child, okay? And when you click back, you'll notice that you can scroll down a little bit and you can see that you can uh, pause the watch history um, and you can pause the search history as well as clear history. So there are a couple of little extra things that you can do um, within these parent supervised accounts. So um, once you have been through this process, so just again, that process is having your own Gmail account um, and linking your Gmail account to your child's Gmail account, and then signing into YouTube with your Gmail account so that you can um, set up these YouTube settings. What you need to do next is to go to your child's device and sign into YouTube using your child's Gmail account, okay? And that means they're going to pick up the settings that you have just set for them. And they can't change those settings unless they sign into YouTube with your account. And hopefully your account password is private, they don't have access to it, um, so their settings are locked. Um, and that is how you can um, manage your child's YouTube settings using YouTube's new parent supervised account. 